Now that we're in division, we're going to talk about dividing with remainders. Now, to use this process, we have to look at the equation we have here. Now, the first equation we have is 22 divided by 7. Now, 22, this number right here, is our dividend. That means that's the number we're looking to break up. Now, when we go to the next place over, this is our divisor. The divisor tells us how many ways we want to break that dividend up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start to solve this equation. I'm going to look at 7 and 22. I need to know my math facts to see whether or not this works. So using a multiplication table, you can see how many times 7 goes into 22. It won't be perfect, or else we wouldn't have a remainder. So, as we go through and start to solve, we're going to go through the ideas of, well, we know 7 one time is 7. 7 two times is 14. 7 three times is 21. And 7 four times is 28. Well, right there we know this guy's not going to count because he's too big. So, that means we'll take him away. With our 21, we know that that number actually does fall underneath this one. 21 is 1 less than 22. So if you ask me, 21 or 7 three times would probably be my answer so far. I'm going to put that 3 right above the 1's place. I'm going to bring that 21 down and subtract. We know that 2 minus 1 would be 1. We know that 2 minus 2 is a pretty easy one. That's going to give us 0. So now we have this number right here, this 1, sitting all alone. We can't have 7 go into 1 really anymore. 7's too big to do that. So we're going to carry this 1 up and we're going to count that 1 as our remainder. Notice that I wrote an R before the 1. That R stands for remainder. And then, after I put the R, this 1 takes its place. So our total answer right now comes down to 3, remainder 1, for the equation of 22 divided by 7.